Assalamu alaikum students. I'm your teacher Shaista Khan. I hope so you are fine and safe at your home. Due to the outbreak of coronavirus, we have devised to give you vacation tasks in these days. Today I'll elaborate the vacation tasks for your clarification that how will you be going to come up with the task. I split your vacation task in weeks. First of all, you will do the reading of unit 1, 2, 3 and 5. Unit 1 is the savior of mankind, unit 2 patriotism, unit 3 media and its impact and unit 5 which is poem daffodils. After that, you will understand and summarize at least one paragraph from each unit. You will take a paragraph from the unit and you will summarize or make a crux of it. And then you will do activity, watch the video in the given link and give the answers of following questions. In week 2, you will memorize exercise question answer of unit 1, 2, 3 and 5 from notes and then understand and summarize at least one paragraph from each unit. It's a repetition and then after that you will do the written practice of these, uh, of these question answers on the loose sheets and then solve worksheet number 1. In week number 3, you will do the creative writing write paragraphs on the following topics, the value of science education and hobby. And then after that, you will do the worksheet number two. Week no In week number four, you will do the paraphrasing of the poem Daffodils and you will pick each stanza to, for the paraphrasing. In the creative writing, you will write a letter to your friend thanking him or her for the books she or he lent you, sent you. And the second creative writing is write a dialogue between two friends about causes and effect of coronavirus. In week number five, you will learn the irregular verbs given below. You will solve the worksheet number three and four. In week six, you will solve worksheet five and six and you will do the activity, visit the given link and then solve the worksheets which we have given below. You will learn the irregular verbs which is mentioned in week 5. Worksheet number 1. Learn it carefully and understand the rules. After comprehending the rules, you will make 20 sentences on loose sheets, each containing one conjunction and one model verb. In the example, I have given a sentence, I could not answer your question because I was busy. So here in that, in that sentence, I have used a model verb which is in the form of could not and then after that I have used because in the as a conjunction. So in one sentence I have submerged two things which uh, that is conjunction and model verbs. In worksheet number two you will write the collective noun and abstract noun in the given chart after understanding the nouns at the top. After that you will uh, do the multiple choice question which are at the bottom of that page. In worksheet number 3, search and write the following pronouns. The first pronoun is subject pronouns. I will tell you what a subject pronoun is. A subject pronoun is a personal pronoun that is used as the subject of a verb. Like, like in the example, I, we, you, they all are subject, pro subject pronouns. Then object pronoun. Object pronoun is a, pr is a pronoun that is normally used as a grammatical object like me, us. It's, a, it's an object pronoun. The next reflexive pronouns. Reflexi reflexive pronouns are words that are ending that ends on self or selves like myself, ourselves. Then the fourth one is interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions about a person or object that we do not know about, like who or whom. Then relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are used to join or relate two different clauses together by refer referring to the noun in the previous clause using the pronouns like who or whom. Then after that, indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns are used to show unspecified. Unspecified means not stated clearly. They are used to show unspecified objects or peoples, whether, whether in plural or in a singular form, like someone, anybody. And then the last one is possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are pronouns indicating possession. 
for example mine's mine yours as i have told you the definitions so you will write the suitable pronouns in the given column and then search and write three examples of each of the mentioned figure of speech simile metaphor imagery personification i'm sure that you have a little bit idea about this figurative language first of all i'll tell you what a simile is simile is a figure figure of a speech involving the comparison of one thing with another thing of different kind by using the words as and like for example as brave as lion the next is metaphor metaphor is a figure of speech in which a word is compared to an object or action for example life is roller coaster roller coaster means high and low point so here we are comparing a life with a roller coaster means there are many ups and downs in life of a the third one is imagery imagery is used to show objects actions and ideas in such a way that it appeals to our senses for example if i say it was dark and deep it was dark and deep forest or it was dark and dim in the forest so i am using a visual imagery in that example like that you will write the three examples you can take the uh, you can uh, you can put these uh, examples from the poem as well the last one is personification personification is the attribution of a personal nature or human characteristic to something non human for example the flowers danced in the gentle breeze so here the flowers uh, the we are giving the attributes of a human characteristic in a shape of a dance that the flowers are dancing in worksheet number 4 you will find out and write the synonyms and urdu meanings of the following words in worksheet number 5 i have given you a chart of a tenses through that uh, through that chart you will do your worksheet which i have given below okay now you will solve the puzzle you can solve this puzzle online as well by clicking on the link below but uh, before going to that website you will do it by your own self you will give it a try in the first uh, numeric order the, here i have written one so i have used a past form of the verb of see see saw seen so it's a second form s a w now come uh, now let's come towards the second numeric number here in the second box here in the uh, second numeric box we will write a form of verb which is in the past like went now look at the box and write w e n t in the third box there is an alphabet n so our our third letter our third box will start with the letter n in this worksheet you will write the suitable nouns in the answer the following questions with suitable abstract nouns in the given blanks in question number 3 underline the common nouns from the following in worksheet number 6 add suitable pronouns in the given column thank you for watching